Welcome back students. This is Science 24 Unit B. Uh, remember I'm starting with Unit B this time because I don't have Unit A built for online. Uh, uh, we're doing Lesson 2, Electrical Power Generation. So we're really just going to describe how um, uh, we generate electricity with dams and with uh, windmills. That's what I'm going to go over today. Okay. So how does an electric dam work? Well, I'm going to put all of these up. Okay, so first of all, you know that we have a, a reservoir. So a bunch of water behind a dam. And because that water is elevated, um, meaning it's um, at, the, at the top of the dam, it has to, it has to travel down a, a, a ramp, basically. So it has gravitational potential energy. And then the water falls down the ramp. The ramp has a special name called a pen gate. And then the water hits a turbine and spins it. And then this is where the magic happened. The turbine spins a mechanism inside a generator. And basically when magnets spin inside of coils of wire, you create electricity. So electricity gets made. And then we send the electricity to a transformer it goes to a transmission tower and then it goes to your home or your business. So that is, uh, that is the basics of how a dam works. So let's see some pictures. Okay, so obviously here we have a dam and you've, you've seen, you might have been to St. Mary's Dam and been swimming in there. Um, so the water level up here, all of this water is high and you see water falling over the edge, but there's the work is being done inside the dam. Water is kind of behind the scenes doing something, and, and that's what you'll see in the picture. Um, I remember one time I went to St. Mary's Dam, and not, not the part up here, but the part down here, there was like a thousand pelicans swimming around. This was years ago. It was right after the, a flood. Anyway, and these pelicans, I've never seen so many pelicans, and they are huge. They were like pterodactyls flying around. It was, it was so cool. Anyway, uh, moving on. Okay, so here we, we see a dam. So um, the, the front of the dam right here is called the head gate. And there's, there's openings down here where water can get through and the water goes down this channel and that's called the pen stock. So basically water falls down a hill and then the water enters a turbine which is really just fins, all these fins and when the water hits the fins it starts to spin. Well those fins are connected to a shaft that's not a good color to use there. I'll erase that. Change my color. Those fins are connected to a shaft, and that shaft spins this, this mechanism, which is the generator. And like I said, when you have coils of wire and then a magnet that spins through there, which is what this is, electricity gets created. Okay? And then electricity gets sent up to here to what we call a transformer. And a transformer increases the voltage and we don't have to worry about exactly what that means. It gets sent to a tower and then it gets uh, sent off to your house. Okay, so um, that is the basics of how a dam creates electricity, okay? Okay, so here's another look at it. We have the uh, reservoir here, our, our head gate, and then water comes down, hits the turbine, spins the, uh, the shaft, the, this part, the generator makes the electricity, and then off the electricity goes. Uh, after the water goes through the turbine, it goes out into uh, the canal or the, the riverway. Okay, so that's that. Let's go to the next one. Now, what you see here, um, the, the water goes in 
through these fins. And of course, here's our turbine here. So this spins, which spins the shaft, right? And then this part is this. Now this is a really big dam. Uh, you can see how little the man is compared to the generator. <laughs> now, of course, uh, other, it depends on the size of the dam and, and all of that. But anyway, there's a look at it in real life. Okay, next one. Okay, so <clears throat> how do windmills work? Well, let me put all these up. Okay, so same principle. Instead of water turning fans or blades, it's wind. And that turns a rotor. Uh, the rotor turns what we call a low speed shaft. And then we have a gearbox which spins a higher speed shaft. And then that shaft is what spins the mechanism in the generator. Okay, the generator makes electricity, goes off to the transformer, to the tower, and then off to our homes and businesses. This is trying to show you, this diagram is trying to show you that each one of these is connected down here. You can see it's connected. And then it goes off to the to the towers and then off into the houses. Okay, here's another look at the same kind of a thing. So again, all these towers are connected together, right? And they kind of represent it up here like this. And then off, off they go. All right. <clears throat> okay, once again, uh, notice that each one of these is connected to uh, basically the power grid. Okay. All right. So let's look at the actual uh, windmill itself. So of course you can see here we have our, our blades. Okay. The blades. And then wind hits these and it begins to turn the rotor and let me just clean that. So right here we have our low speed shaft and then that shaft um, in the gearbox gets converted to a higher speed and then this is this part here is the generator so that that's where the electricity gets made. Okay couple other things here there's computers in here controlling things this is an anemometer this uh, measures wind speed um, I'll clean this up I want to show you another thing notice that we have a break so as um, if things get going too fast we can we can slow the blades down we can slow down the shafts so that uh, things don't get going too fast also, notice this. This thing is called a yaw drive. What if, if the wind is coming in like this? That's great. But what if the wind were coming in more like this direction? Well, this whole thing here, which is called an nacelle, it's basically just the housing, the, the whole compartment, that would need to rotate kind of this way and turn the whole thing to face into the wind. And that's what these gears do. These gears can turn the nacelle this way and this way so it faces the wind the proper way. Okay? All right, so there's the basics of, uh, of a windmill, very similar to uh, how a hydroelectric dam works. And now you can go on and do your assignment. There are some videos to watch that are actually really good, so you should watch those and then do the little assignment that I've given you. Okay, thanks for watching everybody.